Hello everyone. In this tutorial, you will start your journey by searching songs or artists or the albums. Let's start with songs. We will search the song and a list of songs will be available for us and this album image, songs feature and the song visualization. You can select for any given song depending on your search. If you would want to see the similar songs based on your selection, you can select this option and a list of similar songs and their popularity is also visualized and it also tells whether the song is explicit or not. Next, you can choose the artist. As an artist, you can search and depending on what your search criteria is, you are going to get the albums for the given artist. If you would want to see the top songs related with the artist, you could choose top songs. And here you can get the top songs related with the given artist. And you can also play them directly here. If you will cho choose different artists, you will be able to get the preview of their song if available. The same artist related demo also support the audio features which are available at the bottom. So you could get the audio features for the selected song and you can also get the similar songs. So if you try to select the audio features and the similar songs and that is also going to be embedded in the same place where you are getting the artist songs. Finally, the album search where you could select an album and that gives you the album and the songs related with that. So, so depending on which album you are interested into, it look in, into the album and collect all the songs available in that album and if the previous available, you could also play them. So thus, what we have covered in this tutorial, which you are going to start everything from scratch in Streamlit by combining the Python code. Hello everyone. This tutorial is the extension of my previous tutorial where I have used Spotify Python library to connect with Spotify server and collect details such as songs, artists, song features, similar song, albums, artist albums, al songs in the albums and various things. And we visualize all that data to understand more about songs, relationship with artists, their popularity and features. Previous tutorial was totally based on Python code, which we used uh, into the Jupyter notebooks to learn everything around how to use those API and get results and process them for our data analysis as well as data visualization. This tutorial is based on the previous tutorial information and the knowledge to build an iStreamlit application. So in this tutorial, we just extended what we have learned previously and build the Streamlit application. So if your objective is to learn how to build great visualization using Streamlit, open source library by combining Python and Spotify API, this tutorial is going to be very good for you. This tutorial does not cover the Streamlit basics or the beginners. However, if you are new to Streamlit, you can still take advantage just by walking through the code step by step. And wherever needed, you can look into the Streamlit documentation. My name is Avkash. I'm very grateful to have you in this tutorial. So please go ahead and enjoy it. So in the first part of this hands-on tutorial where we have used the Spotify APIs in Jupyter Notebooks to access songs, artists, their albums, the features within the songs and the similar songs related with a given song. So yesterday 
or the part first of this tutorial, we have completed all of those exercises in this Jupyter Notebook. And the Jupyter Notebook, we have already pushed to the GitHub repo public code. And here is the folder where all of these Jupyter Notebooks are available. So today we are going to use the Streamlit. So there are several tutorials available on YouTube where you could go and get started yourself with the Streamlit. So this is not the getting started tutorial for the Streamlit. However, we are going to still build everything from scratch. So you can use this tutorial, just a building block of your knowledge with regard to Streamlit open source library. The Spotify Python library, we, which we have used yesterday or in our code to connect with a Spotify server is exactly going to be used. So all of the Jupyter notebooks we are going to reuse today in our Streamlit application. However, the code inside the Jupyter notebooks will be the part of our Streamlit project. Some of these other GitHub libraries will be very helpful for you to study if you would want to go a little more deeper and find another variation of similar application what we are creating. And this is another one where you could also use. And here is the one where you could get the Spotify API plus Streamlit. So now we could get ourselves started and it would be best for you to go through with this tutorial, which is the part one of this tutorial. So you have to have at least a good understanding of what we have done because all of these Jupyter notebooks from one to five are explained in this tutorial. You will have better understanding of what we are doing because we are not going to dig inside the code because we have already walked through everything in this tutorial. So I will be creating the Streamlit app for Spotify in the same folder where the Jupyter Notebooks are available. So let's come back to here. So this is the place where we have the Spotify project. So let's go Spotify project. So this is the place we have all the Jupyter Notebook. So we will call it Spotify Streamlit app. So this will be our so that's the app and we are going to do touch app.py so that will be our main file which will be used to launch the streamlit container now we are going to open this app.py in visual studio code it is a public code so machine learning spotify project spotify streamlit app and here is our app.py so that's the place where the streamlit related code will be. And now, because the code is going to stay here in this Spotify streamlit app. So what I will do, I will just open these Jupyter notebooks accessibility. So we could access the code wherever we need. So in this location, I will be running my Jupyter notebook. So we could access the code directly by opening the Jupyter Notebook, depending on our need. Next, in this terminal window, we are going to run the Streamlit app once we have got it working. So here, I will be running the Python 3.8. So now we have Python 3.8 running in this environment, that's where the streamlet is already installed here. So let's come back here. We need to import the streamlet, so at least we could get ourselves started. So import streamlet as st header, and it will be rockstar. So we have just created a very simple two line of code where we are importing the streamlet and creating the header. Now we could come here and we can see this is our app.py and to use the stream let run app.py. 
So the Streamlit application will start and is going to launch the Streamlit app and that is our application. Here is various properties available with our application. I will assume that you have basic understanding of what is Streamlit, how to get yourself started. So I will not be going to there and I will just directly jump to my tutorial. So you have seen that this is our Streamlit application and we are going to use this window to keep switching back and forth between the Visual Studio Code Editor and our uh, Chrome browser where the Streamlit application is running. So if we want to create the st.side bar and we can also write here and we can say sidebar I will save it and if you look into our application you launch it basically reload it that shows that this is our sidebar so based on our requirement which you have already seen in earlier this window we are going to add our control in left side window and we will be keep moving back and forth from left side to our main panel or application space so our choices so let's see so what our choices are so search choices we have are the song or the track artist and album and then we will be setting up this search list so st dot sidebar dot select box and we will say your choice please and we will call it your search choice please and that will be taking this search choice and the result will be search selected so whatever user is going to select we are going to process it so in this scenario the search is available user will search that they want to search either song or the artist or the album and whatever they, they choose we are going to start the search option from here now in this main application area st dot text input and we will say whatever the search selected so this will be the whatever the search is keyword search and this word will be search keyword search as reload so as you could see here that searches song keyword search if you want to select the artist then it will be artist search if you album then it will be album search so if anybody can search and then when you will search it depending on where your choice the result will be displayed here now we need to start working on our Spotify related code because now once this selection is decided by the user and the search keyword is input we need to perform the search so we will choose that so here is our search keyword so we could say if search keyword is not none and the length of str so this is the string okay and then this is our search keyword so search keyword is greater than zero it means some of the search has started and after that if search selected so this is the search selected so this search selected will be any of these three choices so if search selected is this s dot write start song track 
search and it will be alif and this will be our artist this will be our album so start the album search start the artist search otherwise no actions are here let's come back our application album artists we have seen and if it is the song heart we say start search and we can actually say start song search with keyword given if you try to choose the artist we can say Led Zeppelin start so artist search so we are already here now we just need to start our search code right depending on our choice at this point we have a skeleton ready now we need to start working with Spotify so we can come back here and here is the way we have used this Spotify so let's there is the Spotify library we need to access here are our client secret which we are going to use in this project so it's already defined next we are going to create this SP object which uses the Spotify client ID and client secret so once we have SP we can start performing the search and here is the search code it will search albums for example so where our albums are here so if we want to search the album here is the album sp dot search album and here is the keyword so the search keyword is this so search is here and rather than this keyword we need to drop this search keyword that's it so albums will have our search related with albums so now we need to make sure that our sp object is here and then we just need to parse this information so as i mentioned that i will i'm not going to go very deep into this details so i will be trying to work here a little more faster so as you see here that albums we need to if we want to print this value we just call it s dot write and st dot write so that is going to make the search for albums and we are going to get the album result displayed for us let's come back we have put album just put shape run enter and as you could see here all the albums which had shape word is available if we try to use the Led Zeppelin word here is the word so your album related search is working now same thing we could do for artist as well as the song and track so let's use this keyword so here we are going to use the track because yesterday we found out how to create the URI so search keyword and here will be called tracks so all the tracks result will be back here and if we look into the tracks list will be whatever you are going to get tracks very first item is always going to be the tracks and then second item will be the items so here is our list and if we want to render the tracks to we can use exact same method here so if the tracks list are greater and track so this will be track and the track name and the track artist that, that should work because we have already checked yesterday reload that's track baby here are the songs 
by the different artist and if you want to use the heaven here are the words heaven and reason we are getting these 20 results because our search is limiting to the 20 results here here similar to that we could do the artist search we just use here artist artist will be artists all the artists so artist list and here will be artists items so that's correct and this will be artist here then all the artist list artist list this will be artist and we need artist name and here we do not need the artist name because this is not applicable here so now we got artist code also embedded so based on our quick work we can say Justin here are the Justin Bieber Justin Timberlake songs if you want to search for Led Zeppelin here are the Led Zeppelin similar to that we have song heart that is working we have albums albums so our search is added now so now we need to build one of the application to start with so the next step what we will do that all the search results what we are getting from this api we convert them to a list and we let user to select whatever items from the search results they want to select so in the next step what we will do is that we will take the results and append them into a array and use that search list as a control for us to select the item so what we could do we could say selected album is none so right now nothing is selected so we have to do selected album selected artist and selected track so right now these are the three things user is going to select then what we need to do we need to search results so depending on what we are adding here so search result dot append and this value is going to be appended here so we could make this whole value str local equals this and that will be appended here same thing we can dot append and this artist name will be appended here and finally search result append so search now we just need to do same thing that depending on what the choice is we can say if this is selected if this is selected or if album is selected to say dot select box select your song or track search results and it will be select your artist album and the result depending on what you are trying to do so if you are searching album will be there then the artist will be there and the track will be there now let's see how it works for us so we try to search a song shape and as you see here all the song is listed here if you say i want to search the artist and you search for led zeppelin and here is the led zeppelin result is i think we need to just comment because okay we need to comment this we need to comment this because we don't need to render any of that 
artist justin all the artists are here if you are album all the albums with the shape name is there so we have got this so depending on what user is going to select we are going to work next here so let's work with selected track first so what we are trying to check here is if selected track is not none and the length of if you look into the so the search results are this is the search result tracks so so we are going to see if the length select if selected track is not none and this tracks is not empty so length of tracks is greater than zero but you see here that the tracks is not defined outside this range so we could say that the tracks are zero same thing the artists are the empty array and the albums are also the empty array so we have defined that these all are empty arrays if selected track is not none and the length of tracks is greater than zero it means there are some tracks available so we could say this is our track list so we are pretty much going to use this code for a while so track list is a tracks if length of track list is greater than zero so this was the string we have in the drop box the drop down so we just call this str temp so this and now if str temp is equal to the track selected track track id is equal to this track track id so we have got the track id so we can define this track id is none so there is no track id now we need to go look into our code that whenever we are going to get the track if you look into album and then if you are looking into the list of album tracks so for the given track you are going to that the information like that you will get the track id artist id and there are various other information related with tracks such as images or the preview so we are going to extract all of those from here so we need the album name and the album so album name in this is available here so this is the artist here is the album album type and here is the artist and if you look into here here you will get this the uri here is the artist related information for the track so let's come back here we need to get track id track album and that will come also from the track images and in the images we just need to get the url so it's gonna be one of the url so we have track album so this is the img album and here is the track album and it will be track of album name so we got id image and if we have this information rendered on the screen we could actually see the results so just to make sure that we have this information i would say let's use this s dot write 
and we can say write the track ID, write the track album, write the IMG album, st dot write, and that's related with track. This is our choice. Search for shape, and as you could see here, for this song, here are the ID, the name, and the image. Where this image related with Ed Sheeran, as you could see here. Take this track ID, and we just make sure if track ID is not none it means we could process this track id and we can get the anything we want from with regard to this track so if track id is not none we could actually get some of the features related with track so we could say for example track features equals to sp dot audio features and we just need to pass the track id so this is our track id and otherwise else so here is our track related work so let's reload track we are searching for shape here are the songs related with the shape And as you could see here, whenever we are trying to select, we need to collect this result and render it. So now we could take this JSON object and we could save this into a pandas data frame and then we can show those values. So what we could do, we could say pandas data frame. So import pandas as pd. So data frame equals to pd dot data frame all the track features is going to be stored here and we can say the index will be the zero and because remember very first record is has the value because so that's why we are trying to use that one and then just to make sure so you always get the very first you will you always get a very first result so we need to get index 0 and that's our data frame now if we want to st dot data frame and we can call this df index is equal to 0 now it's correct song shape and there you go. So the values related with audio features are collected for this ID. And as you see here that we are getting audio features. If you look into the API, this is what we are doing. We are collecting audio features by sending the track ID and these features are coming and then we are taking these features and just showing them here but right now the whole data set is this one so we just really need to take this data set and reduce it to only required features so we take this do not need features and we use the features here so now only seven features related with a given track are listed here so only seven features next we are going to create this plot so we could see this plot in our streamlit application so to create this plot we will create a new file polar plot dot pi here is our polar plot related code this is the polar plot we need 
these libraries. So we have used them here. So we have numpy, matplotlib, here is polar plot. And we need to take this plot and we need to put this plot inside the streamlit object. So we will say import and when I'm writing this code, I believe that you must have some basic information related with streamlit. So I am not really going in detail and trying to tell everything what I'm doing. So this code we have already seen yesterday. So now we are taking these features and we are going to create this polar plot. So this polar plot is going to be used here. So I will write here import polar plot. So that's our polar plot. And if you would want to show the polar plot here, we can say polar plot dot feature plot. And it is going to take this data frame here. Let's see. song, shape, here is the polar plot for the heart shape box nirvana. Instrumentness is 0.19, it's a very low value. Danceability less, but energy is quite 50% plus. And other thing, if we look into a song, the shape of you by Ed Shireen, here the danceability is really very high. Acousticness is also there. Valence is quite almost 0.9% and energy and the instrumentalness is quite zero and here. So for any song you could build the plot. Here in this song you could see the instrumentalness is almost 0.98. So almost 98%. So we have got to work our song features. Next, we could generate the track related similar track. So now we could have our application work in a way that whenever you try to create a track, you have actually choice that whether you would want to see the audio features or you would want to see the sim song similarity. So we will try to add that next. So how we could do that, We what we need is that we need to create a choice option here that as soon as the track is selected, we need to ask user to input what their option is. So if track ID, it's not none. We are going to here, we can do the choice. So we can say track. Choices are song, features, and or similar songs, or we just call it song recommendation. Okay. And sd dot sidebar dot select box. track choice and that will be the track choices and we just call it selected track choice so we make this selected track choices none to start with so there is no choice so choice will be selected based on this and if selected track choice is song features, we sh show this. Else if these features are not requested, instead the song recommendation is requested. We need to perform that 
and for that we need to go look into our song recommendation Jupyter notebook here the way the song recommendation work is that we need to get a token so using the client ID and client secret we are getting the token and using token we are passing to this URL and result of this URL get the JSON response which has the track recommendation so we are going to build that here so I will just write here for write st dot write recommendations so recommendations will be coming soon here song is shape and that's our song features if you select recommendation it's a recommendations are coming for any song you choose recommendations are there if you choose features features will be added here so now we will build the another file called the recommendation we just call song recommendations.py is this so we have to have the song recommendation code so we need this to start with get token will give us a token so after that this is the recommendation part track recommendation so let's come here call import song recommendations So very first we need song recommendation dot get token client ID client secret and the result will be token then this will be the get track recommendation we need the track ID so track ID is this then we need token similar songs JSON then we can say recommendation list will be these songs and items or let me check what is going to be so result songs or oh, we need to get tracks so JSON response we need to get tracks and that will be the list of recommendations so we need tracks So we will create the recommendation list data frame which is pandas dot data frame and we are going to pass this recommendation list if you would want to show this st dot data frame we could show this we don't need this line song is shape choices are recommendation and as you could see here here is the recommendation json which is like really very large set of information so what we will do is that we'll just try to trim this as we have done earlier and trim this information this is what we are seeing right now trim this information to just have only few name recommendation as well as the some of the other parameters so let's 
so we don't need to take this so take this recommendation data frame only select few of them and we just call it recommendation df so we select like a trimmed version of our df and then we can use the same here and st dot recommendation df so trimmed version of data frame is visible for us heaven similar songs and there you go name explicit duration and popularity for this song so what we have done after that we build this graph and we also instrumented our graph so that this graph even look better so what we will do in next step we will build this graph basically so let's take this code and we are going to build that graph so we will build that graph here so we can say find song recommendation with and it takes the recommendation data frame and it uses matplotlib so let's come back to here we need to bring these three here so we have added these three too and we also need a streamlet st so we have this and now the recommendation df is going to be used here and at the last st dot pyplot and it will take the that and if you remember in this second one we have added this duration min and popularity range and these are the two features which we have added later so let's add them together here one and a second again if you are interested to know what we are doing you really have to follow the previous tutorial because we have already studied all those things what we are doing here so the song re recommendation visualization will be called here so the rec song recommendations dot song condition visualization and that will be and it's going to take recommendation df and if we have done everything correctly we could see the recommendation graph to reload song sh shame we actually use the shape so here are the nirvana ed Surin shape shape of my heart that's the song let's use the recommendations here you could see the recommendation and here is the graph and this song does not have anything explicit so if we find some explicit features for example okay everything there is a one song starship is explicit and that's why it shows here so this song has the popularity almost lowest and the these two songs looks like the bubble size is big so they have higher popularity so these are the 10 songs if you want to look into the song features you select a song here is the feature So we have used this song track search and once track was selected, we have created the, we have create, created a choice where whether a user can select the song features or 
song recommendation and let me see if we could render this image album it means we could render the image when ever a user is selecting a track id is not none let me see if we could make a call here so if we have url it means we just need to make a request album and then if we could get the album we could actually show it so let's do a very quick test here so we need to use the uh, method call we have song recommendation we have request so we could say fine get image requests dot get and we need to give image url it will be for example r and then we just need to by mg url we need the track id so that will be the file name and we can say open where we are saving everything in img and then plus track id plus dot jpeg so these are just saving commands okay that should be then it should be write the r dot content so this should be saved into the disk so what we need here is that we need to create a folder called img so all the images will, will be saved here so get album image so save album image is that so save album image we could call here we could say the song recommendations dot save album image and it takes the track id so track id is already been set here so and it also track id and image url so image url is img let me see let's ask for image url and track id so it's going to save the image and then we just need to read the image and show the track id is not none we could show this image so image is equal to image dot open so we need to take that read image so we could actually call image here so we could say import so from image so um, what is going to fill import image and then we need to call define get album image and we need a track id so that will be track id return so image okay so we will say image dot open so the location is img slash plus track id plus dot jpeg so the image will be available here so we will call get album image song recommendation dot album image passing the id and can say if 
this is right you can actually call st dot image so we need to get this image so we can say image equals and we just call I think that's st dot image here and let's see shape there you go image is available if you use so depending on what album you choose you are going to get what song you choose you are going to get the album image along with other particulars what you have chosen so we have pretty much completed our task related with the track search now we are going to work on artist and album next so after we have covered the selected track now let's work on selected album so we could say that same condition here elif selected album is not none and the length of albums is greater than zero so this is the albums so the album data will be stored here so here will be the albums so we need to get the album id so we will use this album list this code here So album, so albums, items, that's what we are doing. So we need album ID. So let's get album ID is none. Album URI is also none. And so this is the what a string we have used for search. So we need to search in the loop is this a string matches so let's take this and str temp is equal to this if selected album is equal to str temp album id will be your selected album and its id and similar to that the album uri will be the uri so we have got the selected album so we have got so we have got the selected album here this point if album id is not none and album uri is not none we can do in one but i think okay if they are not none we just need to going to collect the tracks so we can say str st dot collecting For the album okay that's where we should get for the album then the album name if you want album name you can say none
Okay, let's give a quick test. Reload album shape URL it should be URI. album shape here are the albums so shape by fire so we already know which album is being selected so the next step is to make the spotify api which is going to call the spotify api underneath and get the all the songs related with this selected album so we already know the api so is called the sp dot album tracks and you need to pass the album id this will be your album id and the return will be album tracks so all the album tracks will be stored in album tracks so df album tracks will be pandas dot data frame And use the album tracks of the items if you would want you can say st dot data frame visualize this information so we are here let's take a quick check selection is album shape and that's like a really very large data frame which has lots of information so we need to parse it to get only few selected information for our demo so we will take the df track so this is our parse and we just need few of these fields and the fields will be we need to select some of them so there will be id there will be name of the track duration in millisecond explicit or not preview url and this information we could df tracks We just call it min so it's a minimum information now we take this and we can comment this line going to be location of this that's where the slicing is going to be correct so we are selecting only a few of these given columns from this df album tracks and that's what we are selecting and showing here so it should work at this point hopefully shape and here are the five fields related with our album or this one if we try to select heaven heaven or hell and here are the songs okay now our objective will be to render these songs in a way so that we could play this 30 second preview this we don't need and to show this whole design we are going to use the streamlit layout design in the columns so we say column one column two column three and column four and these are streamlit columns and we are going to say first two columns are four four wide and then remaining two columns are one one and after that we just say column one going to have the minimum track this information and it's going to have its field what we select id name etc and we need to loop it out so we will say for index in df tracks min dot index so that will be our and in this point for example we will use id of 
index and that will be used for all four two three four so let's two two three four and here will be name we can use the duration here and explicit here let's album shape so here is formatted output for that column we are seeing height index name duration in millisecond and explicit or not now we will add one more row we call it column 11 and column 12 and here we will say columns 8 and 2 so this way we will have another row added so column 11 dot write and it is going to write the df tracks min of preview url and index we are getting from the iterated index here and in the column 12 we are going to write the this preview url we are going to use this write and we will say st dot audio and we are going to pass df tracks min of preview url and then its index so that will be the df tracks and then the type of audio so we need to say what kind of format of this audio will be so format should be the audio mp3 preview url so what we could do we can make this condition that if this value is not none is not none only then and because of this st.audio is not going to be written like that way we need to say with call 12 we need to just render it without so st.audio df tracks media i think this is the better way to do it album shape and as you could see here the lines are written at the bottom and shape radio head so let's fix this one so call 11 call 12 so what we need is that because of these two data is being put one another so we need to set every row in a container so what we could do is that for every loop item we can say with streamlit dot container and move this whole thing into a container value so everything will be written for each row now album shape album and here are the album for the shape and let's one more time I need to show sure. with st dot containers we are having containers call 11 oh we need to define every columns within the containers now so containers everything is defined and that should fix this problem one for once for all so let's have the shape of you at shireen here is the end so now depending on which album you choose radiohead all these songs are visible their preview is available and you could play the song so that was our objective with this album feature that you could search and then you could see the songs and you can play the 30 second sample and if you would want to 
get the popularity you can get that too and if you want to if you would want to show the song features which we have already collected earlier for each song you can actually add those things too and you can pack everything in a very nice looking layout and there are so many things you could do in next step we are going to look into the artist and work on our way to search the artist and then for that artist we are going to search the top songs and looking into this feature comparison for the top songs something what we have done yesterday so let's start working on that now so after we have added selected track and the selected album now we are going to work on selected artist so if selected artist is not none and the length of artists is greater than zero so the artists is the field here so that's the artist here so we are going to take this object and look into here okay so artist we are not searching so this is the artist list is going to be this if length there and here the search so if selected artist is equal to this artist name because we are not formatting the string here so we need to get the artist id which will be the artist id and we need artist uri so we have got these two so we can say if these two are none so if they are not none we can get detail about artist choices so if artist id is not none we are going to do st dot sidebar dot select box and we say that select artists choice and the choice here is going to be that artist whether they can get so you can get the top songs so top songs for the artist or you can get all the albums for the given artist so these are the artist choice and whatever it will be selected so it will be selected artist choice and this initially we can also set this to none so this is by default none so we do not have now we can see if not none we can work here that if selected artist choices albums albums alif same thing here this is going to be the top songs basically we are printing same thing and that's selected artist let's come here reload artist we just call led zeppelin there is search default is 
albums. If you want songs, that will be top songs or albums. So depending on what the choices are, we are going to write the code in this section. So if you would want to take a look, if we want to get the top songs, so here we have artist top songs. So in order to get the top songs, we are going to use top tracks, top songs, uh, is the code. The API is, here is the top songs. The Spotify object, artist top tracks, and you need to pass the artist URI. So this is the artist URI. So here we need to get top songs or albums we need. So first we are working on top songs. Artist URI is the Spotify artist and then artist ID. So that is artist URI. result we can say album result is going to be sp dot artist albums which is going to take input artist uri And that information is actually available in very first where we are making searching albums. So when we are searching albums for the uh, from the artist, this is what we are passing here. Artist albums. So artist albums and this will be al album results. album result of items again look into here album results items we are just following the same code call one Call to equals st dot columns six six for album in all albums call one dot write name and release date and here we can just for now just to write here so it will not give any error because of otherwise condition is empty so here as you could see here we have got this album and then when this album was released so release date and name if we want total tracks, we can also add the total tracks. Let's add the total tracks too. So six, four, two, three columns, two, three, total tracks. album shape sorry artist led zeppelin these are the albums when it was released and here you could see that the number of songs in each album once you have songs now 
is up to you that you could actually take this code related with song track and you could build all that application around it. Once you are in the, if you are looking for, for example, Justin Bieber, you search for Justin and here are the Justin Bieber, Justin Timberlake and here are the top or mostly available albums time it's released and these songs so we have got album now we need to work on top songs so we have already did the album tracks so for the artist we need to get the top songs let's take a look into the artist top songs artist top tracks that's our we need to pass the artist artist uri So SP top tracks artist URI is here and now we can also call it top songs result will be this. So for each track in top song results and if you remember this is the tracks again we can look into back here in the tracks and here we are just only filtering the only top 10 within the array and we will use the same method like this way so we have a container and we have two line and actually we can if we try to reuse this whole code we could use here container so each track so we just need to select the track track name track id track name and depending on this so we have track track also has the popularity so the track has the popularity so we can use the popularity so id name we have popularity track duration in millisecond so this should be track track and this will be popularity popularity and preview url its name popularity so we have preview url so column 11 with tracks track does not looks like a preview url top songs there you go so we have okay now what if we could add the choice in this section because we have already done this thing so what if depending on what your choices are here you could actually choose that whether you would want to see the song specific features or you would want to add the similar song in the same area. So that would be our next objective. So we will have this another section of columns. We will say column 21 and column 22 to st dot columns and we just call them six by six so with column 21 so we will say st dot button audio features and with column 22 similar songs so now you can get an idea what I'm trying to do here the key will be 
the ID. So track ID we can be used as a unique key. Key equals track ID. So now we have artist Justin top songs. And as you could see here that some of these songs have the, the preview URL. So preview can be can be played and for each song we do have these buttons available that we can get this audio features for the given song or we can also get the similar songs related with that. So we are combining the code here. It can be a little more complex but I think that's the objective for us to use these streamlit capabilities to go more deeper. So when the click is going to happen, we are going to get the audio feature. So let's build what we want to hear. So whenever the audio features is going to be pulled, we need to add the on click event here. So on click event will have feature feature requested. So if this function is being called, it means we have to make sure that function is available here. So we just call it that this function is called define feature requested is here and that function is just for placeholder we have here feature requested. Okay, so this function when this click will happen, this feature requested will be called. So the feature button state will have the value when this feature requested will be called. So feature button state has this value. Okay, let's take a look what happens here. Artist Justin top songs and if you click on here you see the action is built into right now there is no code underneath but at least our events are related this button does not have any event built into but at least here we have so now when this request is going to be called you are going to get sp dot if you remember the top song features this was your code so let's take this code and track ID is this track ID. So we are pulling the audio features, storing them, then creating a subset of our data frame and We have to write that information in call 21. So with call 21, if we write here st.dataframe and plot. Okay, so let's see. Feature requested will be called here. This will call an ST and that's all going to happen in a scope of third row. Artist, Justin, top songs. Let's see audio features. So audio features are rendered at the very top. They are not being rendered where they should be here. So let's fix this problem now. If you look into this, again, they are being pulled at the top. So we can add a row because this is a container. So we can add a, another row here. We call it column 31. Column 32. And let's use same property here. And we could say with 
column 31 write this and with column 32 write this so now we have brought this new row and then we added that so these are the rows and then we are adding the values within the container just in select the top songs so if we say features now the features are at the bottom here what if make this way is we try to put this thing in same way rows so buttons are in the same way we can put these two two column three and four so with column three and with column four so these buttons are in same row and then move them to 21 and 22 so they will be same row and then we do not need this so 11 12 for the music and 12 let's see i believe this should work artist justin top songs so we have add track similar song if the second button is clicked here similar songs the similar song for here we are going to do pretty much similar to that so the button will be similar songs this is the similar songs then on click similar songs requested similar songs state and this will be the definition of the function and similar song code we have already built earlier song recommendation so similar song recommendation so this is this is the code These are the two, so this is the data frame and recommendation. So, could say with colon 21, do this with colon column 31, render the and here is what a track ID. So, track ID is going to be this token is okay rest is same okay so let's see artist justin the top songs for here as similar songs and similar songs are listed here so in both scenario or if you look into the audio features audio features are here similar songs related with i don't care is rise easier or similar songs with 10,000 hours or this one and here is the graph related with popularity and duration so let's let me put uh, end of line here so I could say st dot write and just add a few lines here so that will have a clear denominator and we could use Led Chaplin and the top songs so at least this line shows that where the separator is song plays st back is still there and if you would try to open it's always gonna show up at the bottom so the song features are available here and the graph for song feature is also built into here The very first song these are the different songs you are going to get the song features or if you would want to get the songs recommendation you are going to get the similar song and then you can see how they really fan out in terms of the popularity or they are explicit or not next we have used this artist option where you could select a particular artist it gives you the all the albums related with that artist and if you select a particular album 
it gives you all the songs when the album was released and total number of songs related with album. Next, if you would want to see the top songs for that artist, you are going to get the all the top songs and if the preview is available, you can also play the previews. It's all depend on if the preview is available or not. And if you would want to see the audio features for that song that is also visible along with the graph to visualize the popularity and the various audio features. Finally, we had the album. You can select a particular album and you are going to get the songs related with that album. You can play them wherever you would want to. And if you would want, you can add more features to it. So that's all we have done in this tutorial. Looking into the code, the polar plot is defined here. The recommendation for the songs are implemented here along with the recommendation visualization and the app.py is the main code where we are trying to build the navigation related with Streamlit. So these are the three main files we had and whenever we are downloading the images, they are all being stored into this IMG folder. So that's all we had in this tutorial related with Spotify APIs along with the Streamlit application. After we have completed this tutorial, the code related with this project and tutorial is located in this Spotify Streamlit app. I have removed the image folder because those images are not needed. So I'm going to push this code to the GitHub. Code is being pushed. We can take a look at the server, the Streamlit app is available here and that's the code related with this project which you could clone it and enjoy using it. So you must have enjoyed this tutorial where we went through writing everything from scratch and finally we were able to build the Streamlit application to play with songs, music, artists, their albums, their songs, song similarity etc. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and I'm going to look forward to see you in my other tutorials. Until then, thank you. That's all my friends. If you have enjoyed our content, please like it, share it, subscribe it. And finally, please remember, be good and do good. Thank you.